2017 KTM 300X with 250 hours and this is what we're gonna do. Hey what's up guys, Rado here with Dirt and Iron, we are in the Dirt Bike TV garage and uh, I want to share the plan for this build. Uh, as you can see, this is still all apart. Uh, hey check out the seat, uh, this is from Moto Seat. Uh, we start working on this thing really quickly, this is not going to be my usual build that takes 6 months. It's in Jay's garage and it has to be out of here in like a week or so, so <laughs> we have to be really busy. Jay doesn't like to keep bikes around his garage for 6 months like I do when I work on the builds. So we're gonna do something really quick and uh, we were thinking what would be a good name for this build. Uh, we're not gonna call it budget build. Check out the table. It's not gonna be budget build, but it's also uh, not going to be the build what we usually do. We, we're not gonna go all the way down to the frame, do powder coating, all that. This, what you see here, the tank goes off, but everything else would stay. Engine is in there. We're not gonna take engine out. The, you know, the wire hardness, everything stays. We're just gonna clean everything nice and then put it back together. So I think the good name would be either mini build or a quick build, something like that. All right, so what I want to do with this bike is uh, to have it up and running as soon as possible so I can ride it, I can enjoy it. And so we're gonna focus on the engine, so the bike runs good, suspension, so the bike handles good. We're gonna go through the brakes and then uh, we're gonna install a bunch of uh, protection parts and pieces and also we're gonna make sure that uh, the bike looks good too. So these are the you know, priorities we have for this build. Again, we're not gonna go through everything. So let me just uh, walk you through the parts here, what we have here on the table and on the bike. As I mentioned already, uh, moto seat, uh, we got this nice seat and this kind of tells you what colors we're gonna have uh, for our graphics. So yes, we're gonna do graphics with Decal MX, so the bike looks good at the end. So it's a black, gray, and this uh, flow yellow or flow green, something like that. So motor seat right here. And then let's go one by one through these things. We got this big tank from IMS, because uh, it's gonna be a trail bike and I want to go on some bigger trips. So I need to have this extra fuel you know, capacity so definitely big tank uh, would be a good thing to have. And then we got a brand new fuel star, it's an OEM style uh, badcock for the tank. So I want to keep this, uh, this tank and the stock tank so I can be swapping between these two tanks. But I think majority of the time this tank would be on. So we got IMS and since we're talking about IMS, uh, here's another thing we have from IMS. This is uh, IMS uh, core enduro food packs. Uh, these are going to be installed on the bike as well. One more thing from IMS, we are going to install this catch can because uh, this is going to be a trail bike and uh, I think it can overheat sometimes on the tight spots in the summer. So this catch can will slide inside in the frame and uh, catch all the overflow fluid there. Vertex piston for our top end. So the engine, uh, uh, we're gonna work on the top end in the next video. We got new vertex piston for that. Uh, Brett at Parapros, he cleaned the power valve and hung the cylinder, so cylinder is ready to be installed. And another thing we have for that is uh, to the RK Tech. You know, this bike had RK Tech head before, uh, but uh, it was actually that the insert for the head was for C level. And I live at 4,000, and I usually ride 4,000 up to like 6,000. So we reached out to RK Tech and we got new insert for the head and also we got a thick uh, gasket. So the insert comes with a squish already uh, for this uh, extra thick gasket. So it should be running really good. Uh, I have it on my 2012 bike and I love it, it runs really good. So that's for the engine. Uh, next, uh, FMF uh, for this bike, we decided to go with the fatty pipe and uh, we have to have turbine core two silencer. We have to be street, not street, but uh, you know, forest legal. Uh, we have to have spark arrestor, so this is the, the product we always use for these uh, off-road builds and fatty pipe. We are going to protect everything uh, as usually with our P3 Carbon. This company is just uh, really good to uh, start this stuff, you know, protection for the pipe. And also we got a P3 Carbon skid plate and this right here uh, is a little extra thing. Uh, you can actually put your sticker, registration sticker on it and clip it on the, on your forks. This is from Petri Carbon as well. Next, uh, 
bunch of orange things here. Uh, this bike, uh, not like my Slovakia, this will be KTM orange, so we're gonna stay with the orange color. So we have a bunch of stuff from UFO. These are the frame guards. Uh, I need new four guards because the old one were cracked. And then a uh, chain guide and chain slider. These things, uh, orange from UFO, will look good on the bike. Uh, Moto Tassinari V-Force Reed Cage, uh, V-Force 4 for this bike. It will run really good. That's what we always use for this build. So we are covered over here. What do we have next here? Bulletproof. Uh, you know, off for a build, you gotta take care of those radiators, right? So we decided to go with the bulletproof uh, uh, guards for the radiators. And also, uh, this is for the linkage protector for your uh, for a shotgun linkage that we're gonna install and uh, also we got this uh, bulletproof for your uh, swing arm for those bolts right there and this one is orange because uh, we have other part that is orange this right here is a task shark fin so it's gonna look same you know in the rear of the bike but we were kind of thinking about a little bit of the color scheme there so we're gonna have uh, orange anodized and then silver uh, raw aluminum look so I think it's gonna look really good so task over here, we have the shark fin. And also for this build, uh, we are using a task uh, fan that we are going to install on the radiator. It's uh, this is the first time for me to be using this uh, kit, but it looks pretty good. Uh, so we're gonna install it. We're gonna have it on the video as well. Taking care of our uh, sprockets and the chain. Of course, we went with uh, super sprocks. We got our front sprocket, rear sprocket, and then we also got the chain. Uh, this is a black chain and it's an uh, O-ring. So it's gonna be working good there. Lasting for a long time, hopefully. What do we have next? Uh, ODI bars, this is what I like uh, on the bike. This is the band that uh, I'm used to on pretty much all my bikes. So we go with uh, podium flight on our bars. Clutch, uh, we didn't look at the clutch yet, but hey, 250 hours and the oil was uh, kind of giving us a uh, little indications there that the clutch might be out. So we have a new Hinson plate, uh, plate so for the clutch and also we got a new Hinson clutch cover. We're gonna install that. The last company that we have here oh, would be Enduro Engineering and uh, from these guys we have our hand guards with the orange uh, color for you know for the guards and also uh, these KTMs have this uh, slave cylinder for the clutch so we have this Endor Engineering uh, guard for the slave cylinder for the clutch. So quite a lot of parts. Uh, looking at everything, it's gonna take some time to uh, to put it on the bike. Uh, next time, uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna do uh, the top end, uh, install everything, make sure that the engine is is done, and then we can start working uh, through our other parts. Also, the big thing uh, we're gonna take care of the bearings. I don't have it here. I have it in my house. Uh, we got all the bearings we need from factory links, but we're gonna inspect and I think a majority of the bearings we're gonna reuse, uh, they are still in really good shape. Like this uh, uh, bearing in the steering stem is good and also uh, linkage and the swing arm, all bearings are good. And then the only thing that I need to replace is the front wheel, uh, we got kit, uh, we're gonna work on that as well. Other than that, uh, Keeping stock plastics, uh, we don't want to go too crazy. We're going to clean them nice and install new graphics uh, from Decal MX. Once I have those graphics, I'm going to probably share it on my Instagram so you guys can comment and let me know what you think about it. But they look pretty good. I already saw the design and uh, I'm quite happy how uh, all this is coming together. Alright, so this is the build. This is the plan. Uh, not too small, but not too big. Should be an easy deal, kind of quick deal. Hopefully, it will be up and running in a couple of weeks. Uh, Jay will push me out of his garage soon, so we gotta <laughs> work on this really quickly. All right, my friends, well, let me know below in the comments what you think about all these parts, about my plan, about the decision we made here. Uh, it's, it's a little bit more than maybe what you would expect, but hey, you know, uh, I think I wanna ride it like that for over a year, so we had to go a little bit further than just uh, putting top end in. So this is, uh, I think, what would uh, take care of uh, my off-road riding for quite a bit. And then later, we can go down to the frame and do like full frame up build. Uh, that's what we usually do, probably in uh, 2022. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, well, that's about it for today. Again, let me know below in the comments. And don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.